Now we're going to take up operations of set, which means various operations like a minus b and product of a set, etc. Let's see what these things are. Okay. Now, for example, you have we have this concept of a minus b, which involves a set of elements present in a but not in b. Say, for example, a is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And b is 4, 5, 6. So, it's like subtracting this from this. So, a minus b is going to all the elements of a which are not present in b. So, which is 1, 2 and 3. So, 1, 2 and 3. So, a minus b means the elements which belong to a but not to b. Then what will be b minus a? b minus a would be this minus this. So, all the elements in b minus a would be contained in b but not in a. So, 4 and 5 are ruled out. So, the only element in b minus a is 6. So, this is what you mean. So, again, these operations are always between two sets. So, when you say A minus B, it contains all the elements in set A which are not present in set B. Similarly, B minus A. Then, A cross B. When you are talking about A cross B, means, say, suppose you have A, which is A, B and C. And B is, say, 7 and 5. So, suppose you mean A cross B, you have to make pairs. So, it will be A comma 7, we write it as an ordered pair. Here, the order is important. A comma 5, then B comma 7, B comma 5, then C comma 7, C comma 5. So, this is A cross B. Now, B. So, what is told A cross B is ordered pair of elements in which the first element is from A and second from B in each ordered pair. So, in each, since it is A cross B in each of these ordered pairs, the first element is always from set A and the second element is from set B. Now, what will be B cross A? B cross A is going to be 7 comma A, 7 comma B, 7 comma B. C. Similarly, 5 comma A, 5 comma B and 5 comma C. So, B cross A is this. So, if you see the number of elements that is N of A into B as well as N of B into A are equal, no doubt. But A cross B and B cross A, they are different sets because here the cons I told you earlier that the order in which the elements are written is not important. But here in each of the pairs, we call it as an ordered pair. Even here, you can write A comma 7 here and B comma 7 here. That is okay because the net, these two together are taken as one single element. So, you can place that. But within them, A comma 7 is not the same as 7 comma A. So, this is what you mean by A cross B and B cross A and number of elements in A cross B or B cross A will always be equal to N of A into N of B. See for example here there are three elements, there are two elements so the total number of elements in A cross B or B cross A is nothing but 3 into 2, 6. So if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now here once you write A cross B remember A or 7 individually are not single elements. A comma 7 the ordered pair is the element. So same way B cross A is also 7 comma 7. So here also you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this gives you A cross B. So whenever A cross B and B cross A are done the numbers the cardinal number associated with them are equal but as sets both of them are not one and the same. So this is a simple concept of A minus B and A cross B and there are operations based on this. Now let's take some examples based on these. Say for example, now we have if the set P has three elements, the set Q4 and the set R2, then the set P into Q into R would be, that means I have asked what is N of P into Q into R. 
as told earlier it's going to be n into p into n of q into n of r which is going to be 3 into 4 into 2 so it's going to be 24 so there will be 24 elements in n of p into q into r so there are 24 elements right this is what we did in the previous example we are just reiterating yes there are 24 elements okay now here the sets v such that V is a set of all x's such that x plus 2 is 0, R is a set of all x's such that x square plus 2x is 0 and S is equal to x such that x square plus x minus 2 is 0. All these sets of x have to be equal and what value of x will make it equal? Let's solve for example in case of V, you have the equation is x plus 2 is 0 which means x is equal to minus 2. Then let's consider r you have x square plus 2x is 0 which means x bracket x plus 2 is 0 so 0 so x is 0 or x is minus 2. So there are two values of x which satisfy the condition in set r and set s has x square plus x minus 2 is 0 which will have to simplify and solve it and you get it as x square plus 2x minus x minus 2 is 0 that means x bracket x plus 2 minus 1 bracket x plus 2 is 0. Therefore x plus 2 into x minus 1 is 0 which means x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0 which means x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 1. So in this case x is 1 or x is minus 2. Now the requirement of the question is which is the value of x which will make all these sets equal. So we have to consider the common solution for all the three. That is this particular value of x being minus 2 satisfies all these three conditions. So the sets will become equal only if x is equal to minus 2. The correct answer is a. So whenever we have an equation written as a condition inside the set, we need to remove that equation outside this brace bracket and solve it, get the solution and that's how we have the elements which satisfy that particular condition of the set. Alright, so that is minus 2 as we found out. Okay. If a is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2 is 0 and b is equal to x such that x square plus 4x minus 12 is 0, then b minus a is equal to what? Now, as I said earlier, there are equations over here. Hence, for set a, we solve x square minus 3x plus 2 is 0. On solving it, you get x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 is 0. On solving this, you get x as 2 or x is equal to 1. That means set A contains 2 comma 1. Same way for set B, it's x square plus 4x minus 12 is 0. This can be written as x square plus 6x minus 2x minus 12 is 0. Which means x bracket x plus 6 minus 2 bracket x plus 6 is 0. That is x plus 6 into x minus 2 is 0, which on solving will give x as minus 6 or x as 2. That means set B contains minus 6, 2. Now what is asked? Then B minus A. So what is B minus A? B minus A means all those elements in B which are not present in A. That is 2 is already present. So remaining elements of A, B. So that will turn out to be 6. Now, so B minus A has to be minus 6. That is this answer. So this is the right answer. Suppose it is A minus B. A minus B, you have to compare A with B and take out the uncommon element present in a, which is going to be just 1. So, a minus b is 1, which of course is not has not been asked, but just to make our fundamentals strong, a minus b would be 1 and b minus a would be minus 6. 
questions? The answer is minus 6. So this is what we have. Let's check it. Yes, we do get it as minus 6. So here you have a situation, the next sum. A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, this should be in raised brackets, of course. B is 2, comma 4. And C is 1, comma 3, comma 5. So we've been asked to find A minus C. So A minus C is going to be all the elements in A which are not in C. So the elements that are in C are 1, 3 and 5 and the same thing are present in A too. So the remaining elements that is 2 and 4 would feature in A minus C. And B of course is 2 comma 4. So what are the elements in A minus C cross B? It's going to be 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 4. So 4 comma 4. So it's going to be 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 4. So in this case, if you see a minus c into b or b into a minus c both mean the same because the order is the same a minus c and b are one and the same set. So 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 4. So it's 2 comma 2. So this is the right option which is a minus c into b. And we have it that way too. Right. So we are doing a few questions based on this. We did that simple operations. 